Okay, we are recording. Good morning, everyone. My name is Janice, aka Wellness Diva 3.0. And oops, where is the other sister? Well, I do apologize. Um, Carol Sue is having major IT problems, phone issues. So we wish her well with getting all that straightened out. Obviously, we know I specifically know how crazy that is, and I'm sure you do as well, because when you rely, obviously, we're in such a digital world today, and when you rely on that, it is, and something happens, it just throws everything off, right? So today, I, <laughs> excuse me, I tag this, have you ever, and Sometimes words come to me and I'm not necessarily sure what they mean. And I think it has something to do with what has transpired this past week, personally for me. And there goes the chirping bird. So I do apologize for that. So have you ever, I've always wanted, I've always loved reading and writing. Everybody knows about that. I talk about it all the time. And of course, yesterday I had the honor of privilege of showcasing some amazing co-authors in my 14th co-authored project. And it was actually my first as publisher. And <coughs> excuse me, we are doing really very well in the ranks. So I'm very so excited about that. And I think that's why I woke up with those words, have you ever. I've always wanted to do something like this. So do you have that idea brewing inside of you? Do you wake up with something in mind that is, you know what, I want to do this project because it has such meaning and value behind it. And for me, obviously, in doing the Knockout Shelley project, it had so much meaning not be not only to fulfill a dream that I had for myself, but to showcase other women whose amazing stories have resonated with so many people. And I had a discussion with the inspiration that really behind the book that really got me thinking about this yesterday, Michelle Lemire. <laughs> excuse me, the knockout Shelly. And one thing that I said to her yesterday was, I remember having a discussion with my dad, obviously shortly before he passed away. It was probably about a week and a half before he passed away. And he called, he knew I was doing this project and he called it the Shelly project. So he's so damn cute. He still is. And there he is behind me. And I made a promise to my dad. He said, don't put this off. I know you have a lot going on right now. You will have a lot going on after I'm gone. I really want you to focus on completing this task, not just for yourself, but for your other amazing co-authors. So yesterday, obviously, again, the Knockout Shelley project debuted and it was in within two days of six months. And I said, well, you know, within six months, I'll have it done. He says, I, I want you to promise me, like, make sure you get this done. And although Yes, very, you know, I did make that, pro I fulfilled that promise to my dad. But I think the port important message behind that was, and my dad always had a way, and I think this is where, something that I definitely picked up from my dad, dad, where he would tell you something in such a way that he didn't outwardly come out and say it but you knew exactly what he was talking about. And back to that conversation with Michelle yesterday, it really brought to light so many other things that I want to accomplish, not only for myself, but for others as well. 
you know, at Two Sisters here, we have evolved so much in we're just almost upon a year that we endeavored on this project together, the two sisters. It really started out as two sisters and a book. We ended up shortening it. And so many great things have happened in the silver lining of this past year through the pandemic, through quarantine, kind of being locked up in our own homes. My dad, there are so many blessings in that silver lining. So I really would love it if you all would take that opportunity. And I'm just double checking here because sometimes we have people that are on live. Really? Let me turn that down. I would love it if you would take the opportunity perhaps journal out, write it in your book, maybe on your phone, have you ever, but maybe it should say, have I ever, have you ever wanted to complete something that was that important to you? So I think I'm gonna do a little sharing on my computer. I'm getting so much better on this. And I thought obviously that I would check the stats again in real time. So just bear with me as I hit the share button. I have 5,000 things up on my computer. There I am over there. Let's go to Amazon and refresh this. So we are in two different categories. Alternate healing, I mean, alternate medicine and then healing. And you will see we are number nine in healing, which is pretty awesome. Now, obviously you see three same covers here. One is the hardcover, uh, one is the Kindle edition, and one in, is the audio trial, the free with audio, audible trial. Okay, so right now we are just in the <laughs> Kindle edition category. And we already have a five-star review. Five, by the way, is my favorite number. So if you've downloaded this project, um, the book, um, please make sure that you leave a five-star review for us. That would be awesome. I tried leaving a review, but you know, I'm kind of the author and the publisher, so I'm not able to do that. It's kind of funny. So we are number nine in that category. And let's go to alternative medicine. Did I refresh this? Let me just refresh it again. And we are ooh, number 33. That is flipping awesome. I wanna show you for a moment too, uh, at number one, Giada De Laurentiis. We are in the same category as her. I'm just like so excited about that. Also, some people may recognize this name as well. I follow him. His name is Dr. Josh Axe. So another um, very, very familiar name. <laughs> Excuse me. There are also other familiar names on here as well. So that is what it looks like. And again, let me just go back over here for a second. So please go to your Amazon account. And this is what obviously the cover looks like. We also have the link on our Two Sisters Facebook page. So if that would be just awesome. These authors have worked so hard to share their vulnerability, their authenticity, and every time I now I've probably read each of their stories probably about nine to 10 times in this year span, because obviously I started the project right before the pandemic. It was in February. So that was kind of the initial start of getting this project off the ground. And they really have worked so very hard. So that is something awesome. So what, what else is happening with two sisters? Oh my gosh. 
we come up with stuff every day and it's kind of our, I guess you would call it a wish list, right? Everybody has a wish list. Even when you go on Amazon, you can, you know, tag your wish list, you know, things that you may want to get, gift ideas for maybe upcoming birthdays, anniversaries, <coughs> you know, something like that. So what is your wish list? What do you want to accomplish? Another kind of collaborative project that Two Sisters is doing with Malolo Circle Publishing. We are in the initial, very initial stages of marketing um, an anthology series based on digital business women. And perhaps you might be one of those digital warriors out there who's just starting out, or maybe you've started out and maybe this is on your wish list to write your own book, but you really don't know where to begin. So why not be a part of a series where you're kind of such as an anthology series where you're guided and you're supported through people who have been through that before? You know, I have had the opportunity, like I've said, to be published now 14 times. Um, actually, some of my books right there are behind me. And I've had just amazing experiences, have learned so much. And, and I will tell you on this as publisher, no doubt that I have that I've made some mistakes, absolutely, my first time. But I've learned from them and I've created such an amazing, I think it's amazing, an amazing marketing campaign for um, this anthology series that Two Sisters and Malolo Circle Publishing will be um, initiating very shortly. And we've kind of started the kind of, uh, you know, putting it out there, hey, this is what we're doing. Here's our application process. But back to the other books that I've done, what I want to tell you is i obviously worked with some other amazing authors on these different seri series. And I want to give a shout out to, to them because they are who, you know, inspired me to do this, you know, to get out there, get myself out there and share with the world, which has enabled me to do that in a way to help my other amazing authors from the Neck Out Shelley project. So I just want to give out a shout out to Teresa Holly Howard. I did my first anthology series with Teresa, Women on a Mission, Sisterhood of Stories, and my chapter was called Shift Happens. And also to my amazing life and business coach, Lisa Marie Pepe, flipping awesome. She just amazes me every day, along with her partner and, and soul sister, Divya Parikh. Divya, love you to pieces. They have so inspired me to move forward, be creative, show what I'm about, and just show up for myself so that others that are maybe struggling can do the same for themselves. And I do apologize for looking on the side here. I just want to make sure um, that everything obviously is running properly. The other person I would love to give a shout out to is Vicki Gould. I was involved with two projects with Vicki and also two projects with Lisa Marie and Divya. And I'm also working with them on a third project, Lisa Marie and Divya. You know, think about the number of books for a moment. I know I'm just kind of basing everything today on books, but as you can tell, I'm still kind of excited about yesterday. Um, it was so exciting checking the stats, you know, every couple hours, keeping everybody posted. What better way, especially if you love to write, if you love to read, if you love to share what you're passionate about than doing a book? Think about a book being uploaded to Amazon. <coughs> Excuse me. The number of books that are uploaded to Amazon on a daily basis. 
and yes, there are a lot of different categories. So think about that volume for a moment. Like it is thousands and thousands of books. Now, obviously I want these numbers to go up, but as a first time publisher, and these, even if I wasn't the publisher, these are still, these are according to the top 100 books, just the 100 books that have recently been uploaded and are on the market to be sold on Amazon. It's pretty impressive. Number nine in healing and 33 in alternative medicine. So I want you to go away today thinking, you know, I think I'm going to take Janice up on that and, and just think a few moments about have you ever, what do you want to accomplish for yourself? What is on your bucket list? Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with books. Maybe it doesn't have to do anything about writing. What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to share with the world? Think about that for a moment. I always feel blessed that we're in this space, <clears throat> excuse me, where we can share just that. Be fearless. Hi, daddy. <laughs> I love saying hi to my daddy in the background there. And my mom, of course, and my son. What are you going to be fearless about today? Maybe... Maybe it's doing that first workout. What lights your fire? So have you ever? Okay, well, I think I've rambled on enough by myself today. I could probably fill up another 45 minutes, but <laughs> we'll just keep it light and airy today. So I just want to recap. Knockout Shelly Project is still on Amazon. I will post the link again to the page, but it is there. It is an amazing book. These stories are just absolutely amazing. They will inspire you to take action in your own lives. So on that note, my name is Janice, AKA Wellness Diva 3.0, maybe soon to be Madam Publisher on the ILKB heart rate monitor in North Haven, wishing you a trending Thursday and all the good things that come to you. Be a trendsetter, inspire others to be a trendsetter. And remember, you are fearless. You have what it takes. Thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow morning on Fantabulous Friday. Hopefully Casu is, will be all set with her IT issues and phone issues. All right, everybody, have a great day. And thank you so much for joining the Solo Two Sisters podcast. Bye now.